Hey everybody, it's Ronan. Uh, welcome to the channel update. And today is December 6, 2021. Uh, I'm playing some Halo Infinite in the background, so I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. But uh, let me go ahead and get into what we're going to be working with for the channel for this month and into next month. Um, so, uh, with some vacation time off now, I have some time to do some content uh, directly. So I'm going to focus in on that this month. Uh, I will be redoing the Pulse episodes again, so episode 3 will be happening this Friday on the 10th, as well as I'm going to be uh, going back to playing fighting games on Friday nights, so you'll have a Friday fight night happening as well on the 10th, and the 17th, the 24th, and the 31st, respectively. I'm going to try to maintain the schedule while I'm on vacation, because it should be easy to kind of put the content together and have it ready for you guys on Friday. Uh, I may have some extra stuff in between, like some uh, now playings or uh, spending tens. I had planned on doing a couple of those, but I don't want to kind of swell my uh, schedule too much while I'm on vacation. It is, after all, my time to relax just as you guys would in your own vacation. So we'll, we'll negotiate if there's any going to be any issues with any scheduling or streaming problems. I'll... I'll, I'll hit you guys up either on Twitter or you can check out my webpage at Um uh, Moving into January, however, we're going to just kind of split things up a little bit. Uh, I want to put the Arcade Minutes back on Saturdays, so I'm going to put them back. Uh, and then I'm going to alternate the Friday Fight Nights. So on the 7th of Friday, uh, Friday the 7th of January, I'll be doing one then and then I'll alternate and then the next one will be on the 21st. Uh, in addition to that, the Pulses will then be moved from Friday to Sunday. So that gives me a little breathing room to make sure that all the content is ready for me to talk about. And then we'll get right to that. So that'll be for January. After that, I will probably be making plans for February and March's content that's in mass. So uh, be on the lookout for an additional uh, channel update probably before the beginning of February. And that's really all I had on the channel updates. I don't want to make them too long, but I did want to discuss uh, the controversy behind the Halo Infinite uh, microtransactions and how the Reddit itself got taken down because of the toxicity that's been going on with this particular issue. Ooh, I almost died there. Mm. Uh, bro, I, 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 don't, I don't know how to feel about this. I really don't. Because everybody has a point, including even the development side, as well as, you know, all us Halo players, you know, from back in the day. We kind of see it in two different kind of lenses. So I'm just going to be blunt about a few things. First and foremost, I can respect them trying to go free to play for the multiplayer. I just think that y y you probably jumped the gun on this one. And, and the only reason why I say that is, is because from a Halo player perspective, this is not enough to keep Halo people engaged for a very long time, especially with the lack of some of the modes like SWAT, Shoddy Snipers, you got No Slayer, like playlists. These things are missing. And, and I'm sure they're missing because you wanted to try to kind of keep your player base in a, in a particular spot while they're playing the game. And, and again, I do kind of understand the situation, but the problem is, is, is that in addition to that, you're calling this a beta, but you're charging people money for the battle passes and to access the, the shader content that's provided. In addition to that, the other problem that the Halo players notice is, is just that you're, you're focusing in most of the XP that goes along with the battle pass into challenges, and... I got news for you, Chief. Halo players don't like to play challenges. <laughs> they just simply don't. <laughs> don't get it twisted. I think that some of the challenges are okay. It's just that the problem is, is, is that imagine someone that never plays CTF gets a CTF challenge. And the only solution for them to not do that challenge is to get challenge swaps inside the battle pass. Now... I'm going to show you a video <laughs> with all of the challenge swaps in this current battle pass. Just take a look. I'm not going to say nothing in the background. I'm just going to run that video 
as I scroll through all of the, the battle pass and you tell me how many challenge swaps and XP boosts you see in it. Alright, let's go through it real quick. All right, and we're back. So, how many did you count? It felt like that was a third of the battle pass that had nothing but challenge swaps in there. And I'm, I'm shaking my head on this one. I'm like, yeah, your your battle pass is ten bucks, but half the third of that is is challenge swaps for stuff that you potentially don't even want to run. I. I don't know how I how I can say anything different about that other than it's a little it's a little annoying. I, I would say it's a little annoying, but it, it doesn't end there. Unfortunately, I I, I think that people are approaching excuse me approaching it a little bit wrong when it comes down to just the content in general. I think you have to have a, a better way of criticizing what you're what you're looking at because from my perspective even in a store that everything is way overpriced i mean I, and this is saying a lot because if you look at activision it, it their stuff is superiorly overpriced so if we're saying that the halo stuff is overpriced then it is it just simply is but i i don't know what else i can tell you i mean you look at the splinter desert uh bundle it has nine things in it, but that bundle is fifteen dollars. Uh, what? What? what a... Really? I, and it, some of the shaders. I mean, it, it's it, the pricing is is questionable, is what I would say. I, I don't want to say that it's not overpriced or underpriced because I don't know what they looked at far as you know what they thought would be the 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 safe the sweet spot. You know what I mean? But I mean. You do have some of the armors that are out there for ten bucks, but those are esports armors. I mean, yeah, I can maybe get behind some of them. Some of them look cool enough for ten bucks. Uh, I just, I don't know. I, 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 I'm just concerned that this is the wrong, this sends the wrong message. It, it's, it's basically saying we want you to play the game, but also give us all of your money all at once at all times i mean and, and and it gets a little worse to be perfectly honest with you when you look at like just your basic mark 7 character the plates in here don't have you unlocking them until the battle pass is basically done <laughs> i mean the first one is available in season one battle pass at level 89 bro i'm at 14. <laughs> I don't see myself getting to 89 before this battle pass ends because the the, the progression rate is so abysmal. <laughs> it's so bad that it just it just doesn't make any sense. And then let's let's say that's not enough. You go to the visors and you're like, all right, so here's the visors. 
some are already in the store which you can't get or you got to buy and then you have some that again you're halfway through the battle pass halfway through the battle pass i mean come on chief I, don't get me wrong i mean it, it just i there has to be a better way that that's what i'm going to say there has to be an understanding between you and the consumer that makes these things reasonable I, i'm not saying that you can't charge for a premium product you know what you think it should cost i'm not saying that but the visors the little like Flame. sticky attachment things that go on the actual suit of armor those things are like five to seven dollars huh <laughs> Are, are you purposely trying to ruin the game? I mean, don't get me wrong. It's just, I, I've seen microtransactions not really matter in some some games, but, you know, customization here is definitely going to be part of the game. It's It seems pretty obvious here. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I I don't know. Bungie, whatever you guys... Or, I'm sorry. Let me, let me rephrase that. 343 Studios. And saying Bungie, but they have their own issues. I'll get to them and their Witch Queen and all this other 30 anniversary stuff and probably the polls uh, coming up this week. So they're, they're on standby with me. But the rest of this, I'm just, I'm floored. <laughs> I, I mean, again, gameplay is solid, but cosmetic wise, I feel for some of those guys out here that wanted some of those awesome cosmetics and have to grind like basically the entire pass to just get to it and even in even then some of the, the ones that look really good aren't even available you you gotta buy them it's just ooh, that's rough and the whole thing makes me tired <laughs> but that's gonna do it for our channel update i appreciate you guys' time and patience on this uh, um definitely you know keep a lookout for the up and coming content uh, if you got any ideas for anything in the future that you want to see happen to do, uh, I'm definitely going to be getting Elden Ring in uh, February when it comes out. So be on the lookout for those, those gameplays. But I'm also doing some other RPG stuff in the background. Definitely Lost Ark is on my list. So you guys uh, hang out with me. And uh, again, like, subscribe, uh, click the notification bell uh, to keep... Uh, track of any videos that I'm going to be doing here in the future. Uh, I will try to keep the content fresh, but you know, like I said, just doing it for fun, not getting any money from this. I'm just, I, I, I like playing games, <laughs> and I don't like wasting people's time. I don't even like to, are talking about this toxicity because it takes away from the experience. It just does. I think that everybody that has an issue with it has a rightful, you know, a right to say what they need to say, and. And I respect their opinions, no matter what the situation is. I just think that we should be able to all come together and agree on what's best for not only the community, but the game itself. So, until then, this is Ronan. I'll see you. Peace.